Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play OpenXCOM. Today we are starting a brand new mod and by brand new I mean uh, something we haven't played on this channel yet called Area 51. And because I know you are interested in knowing what exactly I have turned on, let's go and have a look. So we have Area 51 version 0 0.956 by Hobbs, expansion for the original game with new terrains, missions, units, weapons and craft, and a couple of secondary mods. So we have some uh, small visual improvements like uh, static smoke, some stun indicators, wound indicators and things like that. You will see that during the missions. We have the nationalities or world flags mods as well, displaying some nice uh, info about uh, the soldiers and customizing them a little bit more. And we have one more bigger mod, the commendations mod, which is compatible with Area 51 as far as I can say, made uh, by Ivan Dogovich and a few more people helped as well which uh, rewards your soldiers from a set of 61 medals visible in their diary. And uh, we'll try to get all 61 of those. <laughs> not sure if uh, that's going to be possible or not, but uh, we'll try. And uh, these are my settings. I will just uh, slowly scroll through so that you can uh, pause the video and check your favorite setting if it's turned on or off. I won't be reading all of those, that takes a lot of time. But uh, basically this is it. And now without further ado, let's go ahead, click on new game. We'll be playing Superhuman, not Iron Man and uh, let's begin. Now as you can see already, we have uh, new terrains, for example here, Ethiopia and so on, I think was uh, pretty green in the original. Now we have deserts there and uh, this kind of terrain which is completely new, probably some high lands or plateaus or I don't know, something definitely new over here. I think this is a bit different as well um, in China and in whole of Asia actually there's improvements. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, but let's start uh, by selecting uh, a place for our new base. I think uh, I'll start in uh, in Africa. Why not? We have started in USA and in Europe before. Now it's time to do something different. So, unimaginative name, Africa. <laughs> We'll uh, go through that uh, base soon, but first uh, we'll spend about 15 or 20 minutes reading through the UFOpedia. I have no idea what uh, is new in this mod, so uh, as with all the other mods it is recommended to go and read. Can't hurt and will help. So we have a couple of council reports, that's all right. Then some armaments, I see new craft already. A lot of weapons, we'll go through those too. No alien artifacts yet. Some facilities, no life forms, no research, no components, no UFOs, and a ton of commendations. We won't be going through the commendations. Uh, but we will be going through everything else. So let's go and have a look. Initial briefing. It is 1999 and the unidentified flying objects, UFOs, have started appearing with disturbing regularity in the night skies. The reports of violent human abductions and horrific experimentation struck terror into the hearts of millions as documented cases of human abductions by UFOs become commonplace in areas of sparse population in countries throughout the world. The mass public hysteria has only served to expose Earth's impotence against a vastly superior technology. In response, world governments step up their military readiness and there is a general news blackout in most of the affected countries. Scientists try to make contact with the aliens, but there is no substantial response. 
Okay. Uh, the back and next buttons don't seem to work pretty well, so let's uh, do it like this. The Kiryu Kai. Many countries begin to contemplate a direct military strike against the invaders and initially attempted to deal independently with the aliens. In August 1998, Japan established an anti-alien combat force, the Kiryu Kai. Equipped with Japanese-made fighter aircraft, the Kiryu Kai certainly looked like a powerful force. However, after five months of expensive operations, they had yet to intercept their first UFO. The lesson was clear. This was a worldwide problem which could not be dealt with by individual countries. Now, do you hear any music? I don't hear any music. Something's wrong. Hmm. Maybe it's just... Uh, too quiet. Oh yeah. Okay, now I hear something. Very good. So let's continue. We were at XCOM. On December 11th, 1998, representatives from the world's most economically powerful countries gathered secretly in Geneva. Why would you gather in Geneva? That city has nothing. After much debate, the decision was made to establish a covert independent body to combat, investigate and defeat the alien threat. This organization would be equipped with the world's finest pilots, soldiers, scientists and engineers working together as one multinational force. This organization was named the Extraterrestrial Combat Unit, or short, XCOM. Council missions. Council missions consist of additional XCOM operations to assist friendly forces targeted by alien attacks or recover new technologies. Some council missions, like defend target, data extraction or destroy target, will have timers and specific objectives to be completed, and those will be outlined on the mission briefing. So that is definitely something new in this mod. Looking forward to it already. I guess it will be something similar as we have had uh, in the XCOM 2012. Down to Earth. Our preliminary analysis of the recovered alien artifacts has only revealed Earth's technological backwardness when compared to the aliens' nearly magical wonders. It will take time, which we might not have, to be able to fully comprehend there's an H missing over here, hopes, and apply the science behind the aliens' weapons and UFOs for our own use. It will be possible to first apply this knowledge to upgrade our existing tech, but to progress any further, it is critical that we supplement our research effort by capturing high-ranking aliens and collecting data from Earth sources. Got it. Alright, we can spend a bit less time on the Sky Ranger and things like that, so this is our Troop transport, Dark Star is unmanned airborne early warning system, air refueling capacity and advanced radar systems, allows for extended range mobile UFO defect, uh, detection. So, sort of a radar. Looks like it. Speed, basically the same as Sky Ranger. No acceleration, double the fuel capacity damage capacity much less yeah so basically mobile radar okay mud ranger armored personnel carrier commonly found in earth's militaries although it is too heavy to be deployed by aircraft it may be locally deployed to assist XCOM in the field carries up to 24 soldiers all right no other statistics though interceptor we know and love Stingray missiles, avalanche missiles, cannon, and now we have the rocket launcher tank and a normal tank. I think they are the same as we are used to from the original game, so we can skip that. Weapons, just very quickly, I will scroll through. Combat knife, looks good. Using its hardened edge and point, the train field operative can silently kill a lightly armored enemy with a single slash or thrust. Suitable for close encounters of any kind. 
All right, normal pistol, machine pistol, with same damage, bit more weight, has uh, auto shots. Okay, rifle, we know this one. Sniper rifle, ooh, I will definitely buy a few of those. This large caliber sniper, sniper rifle is more powerful than a standard rifle and has excellent accuracy. However, it is harder to use and has a low rate of fire. Shotgun, not sure. A powerful and accurate close combat weapon. However, the magazine holds only six shells. Light machine gun, nice. 30 is uh, how much compared to a rifle? Same. Okay. Heavy cannon we know, auto cannon we know, rocket launchers we know as well. That was a smoke rocket, a new one. Are useful to cover large areas with smoke and prevent detection while moving through them. Okay. Grenade launcher, nice. High explosive and smoke. Okay. Multi launcher or multi launcher. High explosive. This weapon fires low powered missiles at high rate. Okay, and then we have standard grenades, smoke grenades with a different color for some reason. Proxy grenades, incendiary grenades, nice. We'll be probably using those quite a bit. Incendiary grenades are invaluable for lighting up the night and clearing obnoxious vegetation. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows the obnoxious vegetation. The most dangerous enemy of XCOM. High explosives, we'll definitely be using those. Stun rods, electro flares, snub nose pistol. Hmm. What is this good for? This revolver is popular among police forces around the world. Its parameters are modest in comparison to modern military designs, but it's a dangerous firearm nonetheless. I guess civilians will be having that or something. AK-47, iconic weapon, can't miss, be missing in any mod. Uh, the most prolific assault rifle around the world, the AK-47, is still a reliable and a powerful weapon despite being outdated in comparison to the latest XCOM weaponry. RPG launcher, wow, <laughs> okay. The RPG is a cheap rocket launcher. While not as accurate as the XCOM design, it is nonetheless very dangerous to both living personnel and uh, heavy weapons platforms units. Okay, so that were that was our equipment. Then some base facilities. Is it the same as vanilla or maybe a bit less? I'm not sure. So lab. 50 scientists, workshop, 50 engineers, yeah, it's basically the same. 450 nautical miles, 20% chance of detecting. And this one has 10% chance of detecting, I think it's the same. Missile defenses, general stores, alien containment, hangar. Can't see much more, okay. And the rest is already the commendations. We will not go there today. We'll go there later. So let's have a look. Funding, similar to vanilla. Start date, similar to vanilla. Okay. Graphs, same. Same country, same regions, looks like it, more or less. Okay. Interception as usual. The base looks the same as well, so let's start equipping the craft. I usually don't uh, take the cannon at all, uh, so let's take the stingray over here and on the second one an avalanche. Okay, let's de-equip everybody from the Sky Ranger and everything as well, like this, so that we can uh, purchase and sell things we don't need. All right. Ooh, and I uh, forgot totally to take the list of the soldiers from the forum. So uh, basically, I'll be naming these eight starting soldiers with some uh, people that have applied already. They will be more or less cannon fodder <laughs> as starting soldiers. Uh, uh, but um, you can apply, of course, as well. And I will try to recruit everybody who will 
want to participate on this uh, campaign. So uh, let me know what your name should be. Try something that is relatively easier uh, to pronounce in English. And you can give me nationality as well. You can give me some backstory if you wish, some preferences for weapons and so on and so forth. So um, let's start with research first, maybe. We have motion scanner and medikit. I will start with motion scanner. In the manufacturing, we have exactly nothing. That's fine. What else? Base information. Eight soldiers, ten, ten. Uh, this is more or less the same as as in the vanilla. We just start with a bit more equipment. What next? I have re-equipped the craft already. I need to maybe sell something. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the equipment. So I won't be using pistols most likely. So uh, maybe I should first buy and then sell once. Uh, once the new stuff arrives yeah so let's go and uh, let's go and purchase first so we'll need more soldiers first of all how much money do i have we have enough money maybe building facilities so alien containment definitely right we do not have alien containment yet workshop lab store small radar access lift living quarters no we don't so alien containment first then some uh, living quarters again. I will put them on the other side of the of the access lift. Then uh, I don't know how quick uh, you should play this mod if it's uh, close to vanilla or if if it has a longer span. But let's prepare ourselves and build another lab somewhere over here another workshop maybe uh, how much is it 800,000 well so we'll definitely need some general stores I'll put them there and we have just a small radar so let's do a large radar system as well so that's fine uh, another Workshop 800,000. We'll think about that in just a moment. Let's go and purchase. So, soldiers. We will need more soldiers. So, let's take uh, eight more for now. Actually, let's take even more. Well, we'll see. Then, um, I will not be using a tank just yet. I think. We do not have any combat knives, so let's take uh, eight. They don't cost anything. We don't need pistols. I don't think we will need machine pistols that much. I'm more of a rifle person. So eight rifles. Let's take uh, six sniper rifles together and uh, 24 clips or something together. Light machine guns might be worth a try. Let's buy a few more. Shotguns. Ah, can't hurt. Heavy cannon. Yes, two are enough. Let's take explosive ammo. And even incendiary ammo a little bit. Auto cannon, not a big fan of. Rocket launchers, though. We need a lot. And a lot of. Uh, a lot of rockets <laughs> and we have just ran out of space okay so um, hmm. we do need uh, more space so maybe a few less of these let's purchase actually and let's sell what we don't need so I don't need the cannons and cannon rounds. I don't need the pistols or pistol clips. I will keep the stingrays and avalanches. Sack. So this might give me a little bit more space. 
we have, yeah, suddenly we have more space. Uh, not sell, purchase. We were at uh, some large rockets. I don't know how many we bought. Doesn't matter, let's buy a few smoke rockets too. A few more, I mean. Grenade launcher. Meh. Maybe later. Multi launcher, maybe later. We have grenades, but I do need uh, a bit more smokes. A few proxies as well. A few, and a few more incendiaries. Let's take like 12 together. Many, many high explosives. 16 should do. Some stun rods and many, many flares. Let's take 24. Okay, so that's uh, enough. Our base looks almost full. We have 1.2 million. I think I will invest it into more scientists. We can have 14. So let's take 10. And now we don't have enough for another workshop. That's all right. That's all right. These are being equipped. Okay. So, um, yeah, next thing to do is to rename our soldiers. But I will need to make a small pause in the recording and get the names of our recruits. So, uh, give me a moment, I'll be right back. And we're back, so we have the first eight. I have a few more names, but uh, you'll have to wait until your soldiers arrive. So, first of all, we have Simon as Master Blaster. He's obviously from Spain, and he will be carrying a rocket launcher, looks like it. I haven't checked your stats, maybe I should, uh, just to see if there is something really bad, like Fire Necursi on Master Blaster seems pretty bad actually. So, do I use some sort of help before your names? Yeah, let's give you a small minus, only a small one. Otto Hartenstein is Czech, obviously. He has good bravery, very good firing accuracy. So, you'll get a small plus. Okay, and Otto didn't want to play or fight <laughs> alone. He will be coming together with Private Dogovich and Private Poet, who are uh, Greek and uh, Irish. I didn't know that. Surprise! Good firing accuracy on Dogovich, good throwing as well. Strength on all of you guys is relatively decent. Firing is also good. So 60, 60, 70, 40, yeah. Looks fine. Then we have Hobbs, the author of this mod, who is obviously Italian. What else? And he has very bad firing accuracy as well. So small minus. You are also a coward, Hobbs. You have bravery 10. <laughs> uh, is there anything that you actually are good at? No strength, no firing accuracy. No bravery, no health. Sort of okay-ish reactions. Okay. I'm sure I can find uh, something for you. <laughs> then we have Raido. Ooh, somebody needs to help me. This will be something African. Eth Ethiopia? Maybe. Uh, you are also not such a good shot. 48 is not... Too bad for a minus. You are strong though. I'll give you a an asterisk for strong. Let's check the other people. Poet is strong as well. And that's about it. Master Blaster is also strong. So you have a star and a minus. Okay. Then Yataka, our pilot. Unfortunately, in this mod there are no pilots. <laughs> you are obviously coming from Egypt. Well, figures. Reactions very good. Firing accuracy is really bad, Yataka. I have to flag you with a minus. You have excellent throwing accuracy, but we don't need that. Mr. Quiet, coming from Nigeria, has uh, pretty good firing accuracy. Pretty good bravery as well. Strength is not your strong side. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's it. All right. So let's put uh, these first eight people on board. And let's put Hobbs on the top so that he can die first in his own mod. And let's put Master Blaster and Poet second. And then we'll put Otto Hartenstein and everybody else uh, below. So rookies to die, uh, people with uh, a lot of strength next to shoot um, missiles and throw grenades. And the rest will be just shooting from rifles. So we will need four rifles with eight clips. We will need... Uh, oh things will arrive later. Okay, so let's wait for them to arrive and then we will put some more stuff on you. Let me check. There are no starting um, armors. All right, let's not forget saving the game. This will be the beginning of area 51. We'll be saving very rarely, but uh, we will not use the Iron Man for obvious reasons. Okay, so let's uh, fast forward time and we detected our first UFO. All right, let's send Interceptor 1 after them. They will most likely shoot them down because they don't have a cannon anymore. I can try maybe disabling one of these cannons in case... Um, Okay, they are even outrunning us, so maybe I should uh, send the second one, but it's a waste. It will give me some points, but uh, I would like them to actually land. <laughs> now, I have no idea if these guys land or not. I think the small guy wouldn't land and the other ones will. So, uh, let's try it like this, why not? Okay, you are now officially trying my patience. Really? Come on. Okay, I think they are going away. Return to base. XCOM 0, Aliens 1. Alright, now we have tons of uh, things. There are more people and more scientists scientists coming later, but we can at least uh, put some decent equipment on you. So we'll uh, take four knives, all four sniper rifles with uh, six clips, both light machine guns with something, four of these. Then heavy cannon with both types of ammo, actually all types of ammo. We don't need the auto cannon, I can sell that. Rocket launchers, let's take two with all four small rockets and four big rockets. I don't know if I need a smoke just yet, I might. Let's take a couple of grenades, a couple of uh, smoke grenades for everybody actually. Just four proxy grenades six pro uh, incendiary, six high explosives, two stun rods even though we don't have uh, much use for them yet and all electro flares. Okay, and let's go ahead and sell the auto cannon. I don't use that stuff. Sell. How does it look like now? Looks pretty good. Now I have disabled auto equipment so um, We'll have to equip everybody um, when the mission begins. They will remember their equipment. I just don't want the game to do the equipment for me. I hate it. All right. Anything happening? It's 3rd of January already. Yeah, we have something in... Where is it? Green. North Pacific, we can't go there. And this is North North Africa. 
Oh, that's total, isn't it? Yeah. So we have uh, we have only something in North Pacific. And North Pacific is like here, right? So on the other side of the globe. Okay, can't do anything about that. I could try to send some scouts, but I have only one Sky Ranger. This is not uh, the Hawaii challenge. So I guess we'll concentrate on uh, on our continent for now. Let's pump up the research and we have some more soldiers. So next we have the janitor. All right. Then we have uh, Medic Nunez. All right. We have the Think Tank. Okay. And we have JG. And I hope I didn't forget anyone. These uh, people are reserved for for you guys. So unnamed number one, unnamed number two, number three, and number four. All right. That's cool. Let's check their stats. So far, accuracy pretty good, actually. Strength is not that great. 62 is not enough for a plus just yet. Ooh, your firing accuracy is very bad. You will indeed be a medic, Mr. Nunez. The think tank. I totally forgot the H over here. Let's correct our mistake. You have... Well... Average stats, that's all right. JG. Not looking that good, JG, for you. <laughs> Not looking that good. Firing, melee, atrocious. Good strength, though. So let's put uh, this on you. You have you have good firing accuracy, Mr. Unnamed. Plus. You not. And you neither. Okay. So it's been half an hour. I will not end the episode. Don't worry. We'll have at least one mission. At least a start of it or something. Still nothing. Yeah, looks like still nothing. Come on. Give me something to do. By the way, we can put more people on the craft as well. So let's put everybody like this i mean almost everybody not the unnamed guys anything going on not really so the motion scanner is done this sophisticated device uses a vari variety of detectors and so on i think it is the exactly same motion scanner as in the vanilla okay let's do the medikit next And if we have some money, do we? Yes, we do have some money. Let's uh, produce a couple of motion scanners. So I think I'll need like four for myself and then we'll start selling them for profit. Three days, that's all right. Okay, we have a landing site already. Number one, speed zero on the ground. I think this is it, it's very close to us. So, uh, I could take two more rookies, but I won't. I do have all the equipment I want for you. So, let's do it, I guess. Maybe I can do the equipment here already. Or, now nah, let's see if we can first uh, even get there. So, Sky Ranger. Go ahead, landing site number one. Yes, we can do it. We can do it. Explore the landing site and if possible gain entry. Perfect. So, Mr. Hobbs, how do you want to die today? 
firing 43 all right so and 21 strength you will be having hmm. <laughs> this might take a while like five minutes at least you will be having a primed grenade is that a good idea might not be we'll see and you will be having a primed smoke grenade okay and uh, you'll take a combat knife with you and a backup weapon that's exactly how much you can afford okay yataka yataka my man you will be having because i want to try it a smoke rocket and one two small rockets that's enough for you your firing is totally out of this world maybe i should give it to somebody else <laughs> i don't know we'll try it so master blaster of course needs to have a big gun no your firing is totally atrocious we need to first train you up so uh, instead you will be having a normal rifle and try to try to level up with that what else can i give you throwing 73 and strength 37 so you can do some throwing i will give you a uh, a primed high explosive i know this is a way to you know suiciding but um, I can't help myself and because you have such a good strength let's give you actually a heavy cannon with uh, explosive rounds and in on the belt the other one private poet your strength is also good and your firing accuracy is actually pretty good so let's give you some more rockets and uh, do I need that? Might be an overkill. I don't even know what kind of UFO this is. Yeah, that's fine. Auto. Firing. Par excellence. So you will have a sniper rifle. And maybe... Maybe a not primed grenade or something. And maybe a not primed incendiary grenade. Private Dogovich. Firing is good. In that case, you will have uh, some explosive ammunition. You don't have enough to carry much more. Okay, Rido. Good strength. Very bad shooting. Maybe a light machine gun. And uh, a grenade, not primed. Incendiary grenade, not primed. Maybe a smoke grenade, which I should have given to everyone, by the way. So I'll correct that mistake in a moment. You can take a stun rod if you wish. Mr. Quiet, very interesting. Firing is decent. Let's give you this. And maybe close combat knife and a smoke. And a grenade. Hmm... Okay, not a knife, but uh, that's it. Janitor, good firing. You will be our second sniper with uh, a smoke, a primed smoke actually, and some more ammo. Medic, I don't have any medicates for you yet. You're going to get a shotgun with some more ammo, a knife. Uh, your melee is pretty good although it doesn't matter with the stun rod stun rod actually has 100% uh, melee accuracy so the melee skill is not uh, important at all think tank wow yeah don't worry we'll uh, not be doing this every time right i mean once uh, your equipment is remembered i will not have to spend this much time but for the first time Thing we have to you will get a light machine gun and you have 22 so only only 
a lightweight grenade. Even a bit uh, overweight, doesn't matter. JG 26, you will get a grenade, a smoke, 50 firing, so just a rifle, maybe some incendiary stuff, maybe even a proxy. Okay, and maybe some uh, more ammo. And we're back. So, I think this is not a good idea. Let's do it like this. <laughs> Yataka, that's fine. Master Blaster. Let's uh, put it in your hand so that I don't forget that you have it. And we wanted to give people a few more uh, smoke grenades, right? So Raido can take one more and Mr. Quiet can take one more. You will even prime one of yours. Okay, so this is it people. This is it. We are starting at the top. It's a very small map, so probably a medium scout. It will be full of aliens because it's landed. We do not have any heavy weapons platforms, so um, hopes your time to shine. You can see a sectoid. Okay. Hmm. So. We can try to kill it. And uh, if you already are screaming at your screen and trying to say, look, uh, you should have just uh, ended the turn, nothing's around you and it will uh, eat their time units, they won't be able to react. We are not doing that, people. That is basically cheating. I don't approve. So, hmm. He's facing our way. Well, obviously it's a superhuman, so they will be facing our way all the time. But uh, it looks like he doesn't have such a big weapon. Oh, I was a bit wrong. <laughs> he has a heavy plasma. Look at this guy, he's completely naked. Am I even allowed to, you know, show it to you? And this tells me actually, if you probably remember this uh, from Pirates or from XCOM files, this, this view is pretty useful to find out what uh, they are holding in their hands, which is not cheating, it's, you can see it also on the, on the battle scape. If you can, you know, if you know all the sprites, those uh, two by two pixels, it can tell you the same thing. But um, in those other mods, the ranks were not so important. But I guess in vanilla and maybe in these vanilla uh, mods, we should try to hide the rank because it will be probably too much information. I'll try to think about it. In the meantime, uh, enjoy the picture. So, if he shoots, you will die. Master Blaster, no, no, I can't, can't do that to you. So, you have a very bad uh, haircut, hopes. <laughs> no, haircut is cool. But you have a very bad firing accuracy. Maybe I should have used a grenade, but we don't have instant grenades either. Ooh. Yeah, I need to get into this game a little bit. I played the new XCOM for like one year. I have to unlearn everything I picked from that game and uh, get into the real game again. Hmm. I think I'll have a look here as well. Okay, and Yataka has a rocket launcher with a smoke grenade. Hmm. This guy has it has just a pistol. Okay, and there's nobody on this side. So Yataka, you will also not survive. Looks like it, but that's why we have uh, the two of you over here, right? You will be sacrificed for the greater good. 
Now, they didn't shoot at us. That might mean that I can go here. It does mean I can go there. 44 for an aimed shot. We have just enough. 28%. Why would that be? <laughs> aimed shot 90%. But you have only 28. Really? I guess. Fire accuracy 41 and probably the... the two-handed penalty as well. Okay. So maybe just... Uh, throw this. Should kill him. He didn't react. Oh, that's because we don't even see him. Yeah, that's right. This little thingy is in the way. Okay. Well, looks like you survived, Master Blaster. Congratulations. Now, what about this guy? I can just try reaction firing, but that's even worse than... Uh, than the alternative. So, I could put down the smoke grenade. That's one option. I probably should already. It will help. And uh, you... Hmm. You can fire a smoke as well, but I don't wanna. So, doesn't look like there will be more in the vicinity at the moment. I might want to risk it and uh, actually where are you? Smoke 60 so is this better than it was in vanilla? I don't know. Trying to figure out if it will provide cover or not. It might not. It might not. Okay, Otto, that's not a good spot for a sniper, unfortunately. Not a good uh, facing on the map, not a good direction. Private Poet, you will be doing some... Uh, some shooting. 63 firing accuracy. If I drop the rifle, it might just work. Okay, let's end the turn. And there were more. Looks like the smoke was not enough. <laughs> and just like we predicted, Hobbs is the first one to go. Alright, this guy is just uh, wounded. That's alright. We have potential for uh, using combat knife against this guy. But I think I will just try to kill one with Master Blaster and kill second with... Uh, hmm. I guess with Poet, really. We can run over here. Drop this. And make his life really miserable. Okay. Duck. Now you will move about here. Turn this way. Okay, now we can finally disembark. So, Private Dogovich. Uh, we will still stay sort of in the smoke. Right here. Then Rido over on this side. That's good. Mr. Quiet here. And a few snipers. So one over here. That's alright. Then uh, the second sniper. Hmm bit closer. 
there. Okay. Medic. Just uh, come a bit closer. You have a shotgun. You'll need to uh, run over here soon. I don't want to make this uh, even a bigger grenade magnet than it already is. So everybody just moves a little bit forward. End the turn. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. What I would give for a motion tracker now. Actually what I would have given for motion tracker before as well. But we don't have them yet, so... Uh, let's take somebody with uh, not so great firing accuracy. Where are you? Yataka. So... I don't know how you didn't uh, trigger this guy, but I'm happy <laughs> that you didn't. We have the janitor. Or auto. 91% sounds good. And if you duck, it might be even more. Oh, now you don't see him? Oh, you do see him. 104. Excellent, auto. Excellent. Master Blaster, you have a minus as well. Anyone on this side? Not really. Turn around. Not really. Okay. I'm usually a big... Uh, fan of not using reaction fire. But at the moment, I might just leave you here. Like this and see what happens. I really need to remember how to play this game. <laughs> okay. You're here. Can you get a second shot? Not really. I did not expect that much. Don't worry. So, Private Poet. How come you don't have your explosive anymore? Rido. You have uh, strength to do this. 23, let's uh, move once from below the craft and throw it right on his feet. Okay. Yataka. That's alright. Private Dogovich, what kind of ammo do you have there? Explosive ammo, so you can't go much further. We could try to reposition our sniper as well. This will do. And uh, shotgun will come closer, of course. What else? Same with the think tank. And same with JG. You guys are our assault team now. And these guys will be trying to survive. Private Poet will come closer and maybe do some sharpshooting. Not really. Okay. He's dead anyway. He's dead anyway. Yataka? I'm sorry for using you as a meat shield, but that minus on your firing accuracy gives me at least uh, some incentive to do that, right? I mean, what would you do? <laughs> okay. Think tank from the other side. And I think everybody will be inside now. So we need uh, Rido to come and help. And he already sees someone. A nice, uh, nice target probably for our uh, sniper. Get out of the way, we don't want any friendly fire. That was a good shot, Otto. 
Somehow it did very, very little damage. Don't know how you managed to do that. This is an explosive one. I don't want to risk it. But we can have Private Poet try something over here maybe. 45. Maybe like this. Good shot, people. Good shot. And it's still not it. Still not it. Can you shoot? No. Actually, you can. Wow. Auto shot. Eight time units? Eight. Wow. I like this gun now. <laughs> Come forward. Let's have a look. All right. A minus guy again. Hmm, I didn't give you even a knife. Not very smart decision from my side, but we have a shotgun. 15 times 5. Let him have it. And can you run back? Mm, hardly. <laughs> okay, think tank will run back. You will run back. Almost. You will kneel. You will kneel. Actually, you will not have enough uh, vision for that, right? So, do you think I need to go there? I might. So, Master Blaster with a minus. Anyone here? Doesn't look like it. That means I can reposition my sniper. Step number one. I can reposition you a little bit as well. Like this, duck. And uh, Mr. Dogovich will check if there is anything over here. No, there isn't. Okay. Come closer with the sniper rifle. And let's end the turn. Nothing. Okay, nobody there. Probably nobody there, but I won't go inside. I will first clear the UFO. Seems like a better idea. Nobody here. 29 and 14 to shoot. You have 8 to shoot. Nobody there. Really? Okay, so there will be either here or there, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> now, I, now I would need the motion tracker. Okay, so still stay over here. You need a weapon. You need a weapon, but I don't have a weapon for you unless uh, you can get a weapon from somebody else. Maybe. Maybe a grenade or at least something. Yeah, a knife. Look at that. You can can go and get that knife. All right. One step back. Uh, you guys will turn around and reaction fire on whoever comes out of here. You should not reaction fire. Let's uh, get rid of that ammunition, please, and use this one. Okay, and Private Dogovich probably the same, although we don't have a spare magazine, so just like this. Mr. Quiet, you will come and help. And our sniper from over here. Face this way. Hmm. 
So, I will check the UFO once again. There is indeed absolutely nothing. So... One person from behind. One person from here. Two people from here, actually. Not a sniper. Nothing this way. Nothing this way. The minus guy needs to reload. Hmm. Hide. Auto. You need something else. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Quiet, I do not want to move you there, but I will have to. And even Poet, but that's such a magnet for bad things to happen. Yeah, that's fine. Next. Alright, we have seen something. We have seen something, people. Motion Tracker, where are you? Master Blaster first. You have the good ammo now. I can barely see what's what. What is, you know, like terrain. Uh, I mean, higher terrain. What is just the ground. It has the same color. About here, please, Mr. Quiet. Oh, that was so dangerous. So dangerous. Medic. Now we see something. And we don't know what it is. It's a soldier. Hmm. So, uh, this should provide cover. You are in danger, Private. Come back and we will position our snipers here, duck, and the second one right there, duck. And we'll go around with you. And around with you. Sounds legit. Next turn. Okay. Still okay. This last one should actually be able to see us. Like, like this. <laughs> 21 for auto shot. Not great. Mr. Quiet, what's your accuracy? 61. Now... Try. Oh, wow, you're so lucky. <laughs> you're so lucky. Okay, we need 18. And that's what we have. Bye. Alright, 8 aliens killed. Eight corpses recovered, uh, some artifacts, one XCOM operative killed. But uh, for the first mission, that's actually pretty good, I would say. Some navigation alloys. People got some strength improvement, especially Medic Nunez, with uh, tons of other things improved as well. A currency only on Master Blaster and Private Poet, and uh, you have improved throwing as well. Wow, okay. That's cool. The loot we have seen already, heavy plasmas and plasma rifles, they will go for a lot of money on the black market or grey market. Three mine probes, wow. Okay. And we have three sergeants as well. Congratulations. Ooh, and we have our first medal. Prowler Cross for Master Blaster. So, let's have a look. How do you left click? Okay. Prowler Cross. Hello, anybody home? 
Hello, Mr. Gopher, it's me, Mr. Squirrel. Just a harmless squirrel. Not a plastic explosive or anything. Nothing to be worried about. Caddyshack. <laughs> this medal is awarded in recognition of mastery of killing the enemy with booby traps and IEDs. There are four levels of award at 1, 3, 5 and 8 kills with proximity grenades. Well, unfortunately I haven't used any proximity grenades if I remember correctly. So um, this, will, this LP will also be used as a testing ground for commendations. I don't think anybody actually tested them that well. <laughs> and this one is definitely incorrectly awarded because we have killed someone with uh, a grenade. I think with uh, explosive ammo, but definitely not with um, a proxy grenade. So uh, we'll test that, I'll analyze what happened and uh, we'll fix it. You can keep your Prowler Cross, <laughs> Master Blaster, we won't take it away from you, but next time hopefully it won't be incorrectly awarded. And in the memorial we have um, Hobbs, our rookie with zero kills. Who has been awarded the Order of the Fallen. Hmm. A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. Joseph Campbell. The ultimate price was paid willingly that mankind might survive. This award is posthumously awarded to all XCOM troops that die in battle. It is only fitting that we honor them in our memory and our deeds as we press on in the cause for which they died. This award is posthumously awarded to all XCOM troops that die in battle. You have deserved it, Hobbs. If you want to join the roster again, please let me know. If not, it's okay too. And I think we have... we are pretty much over time. It's been over an hour already. So let's uh, save the game here. This was the end of episode 1. And I'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments below if you want to join or not. <laughs> and uh, in two days we'll go on another mission. I'm just thinking now when will I be able to recruit you. I think I need to record three episodes today. So on episode four most likely you'll be able to see yourself on the mission. Not sooner. Until then, bye bye.